Why do empires fail in Afghanistan? Afghanistan is famous for being the graveyard of empires and it's now claimed its latest victim, the USA. The US, like the Soviets and the British before them, believed their superior military and technology would allow them to prevail. But like their predecessors, Afghanistan's geography came out on top. Afghanistan has a relatively small population of 38 million, but the country is made up of rugged mountainous terrain with deep valleys. The country has a mountainous center surrounded by countryside and deserts. It is this terrain that previous empires have succumbed to. 74% of Afghans reside in rural Afghanistan, not the urban areas. Occupying the country's main cities as both Soviets and Americans tried doesn't give you most of the country. Supplying troops is also a major challenge in mountainous terrain. Any invader would need both fixed and rotary wing aircraft that requires dozens of ground crew personnel. These platforms would need extensive ground support to just be in the air for short periods, making them extremely vulnerable to attack. Invaders of the mountainous nation have always been disadvantaged as they are conventional armies fighting on conventional forces. A guerrilla force has the advantage of surprise and mobility and can blend into its host population. America's conventional army could not do this with its platforms, forces and supply lines. The Afghan resistance always had the advantage of intelligence. The Afghan people have shown for over two centuries that it can be outnumbered and outgunned but still bleed empires dry. The resistance is fighting at home. It understands the terrain. The effectiveness of the native forces is multiplied by the fact it's fighting at home. The US believed by paying off some warlords it could get them to do the heavy lifting in the country. But two decades on since the US invasion, the Afghan resistance has bled dry another empire looking to control the mountainous nation. The US has fallen victim to the same reality both the Soviet Union and Britain befell previously, and that is, an invading force in the long run will ruin itself in attempting to conquer Afghanistan.